Good evening and welcome to our Traveling Thursday. We're in the middle of our fall webinar series. Welcome to all of you who are joining us for the very first time. And welcome to those who are returning from either our first one, the fall series, two weeks ago when we visited Stacia in the Caribbean, or those who also participated in our series last winter that we stopped in early May. And then we took a break over the summer, and here we are back again. We're calling it Traveling Thursdays because Throwback Thursdays is uh, an old hat, and uh, we are travelers and we're divers. So welcome tonight. We are going to travel to Fiji tonight. So I will just give you a little bit of an overview of what to expect tonight. I'll um, introduce our company and our speakers as uh, you go ahead and you, you may not be familiar. We'll give you a brief little update on the world situation. And then we welcome you to Fiji. And we will hear about Volley Volley Beach Resort, our presenter tonight. We'll give you an overview and what the diving is like in that particular part of Fiji. And then at the end, as always, we will have a Q&A. You are welcome to put your questions in the chat. We will save all of them at, to the end of the presentation. We will talk a little bit more about our fall contest which some of you may already know about. And then we'll also tell you where we're going to be traveling in two weeks. So Fly and Sea Dive Adventures, here's our team. You can see Irene on our screen as well. And um, the team of uh, Edina and Irene, Michelle, Julie, and myself. We have been in business next year. We'll be um, celebrating our 25th anniversary as a dive travel company. So dive travel is all that we do. 20, no, not 24-7, actually, but uh, five days a week and sometimes on weekends if things um, are urgent. We have a combined experience of over 70 years among us of travel and diving. We represent pretty much all major dive destinations in the world with over 100 liveaboards and resorts, pretty much every reputable liveaboard and resort um, we work with as a special specialist in dive travel or a travel agency for divers, whichever way you want to put it. We are IATA appointed, which means we have all the proper licenses. We can issue our own tickets and have control over schedule changes and all of that. So there's nothing like three hours hold with WestJet for us. We uh, can do that differently. We do book groups, as many of you know, and many of you have been on groups that we arrange with us before. Most of them are through dive shops that we work with. And then we also book individual travelers when you want, how long you want, um, and, and where you want. Just a little bit of an update. I did this two weeks ago also, but maybe not all of you have seen this. There's no denying that COVID has deflated the world of dive travel and the world of travel, so to speak. And some of our major and favorite dive destinations are still closed. Indonesia, you cannot go there. The Philippines are still closed as well. Truck Lagoon, still closed. Australia, Still closed. Um, the Cayman Islands, they just shifted their opening date. They were supposed to be open by now, but um, they're still closed. Solomon Islands in the South Pacific closed. And tonight we're going to Fiji, but at the moment they're still closed as well. Although, and Simon will talk about that a little bit later, there is some good news coming our way for that. <laughs> But let's not focus on where you cannot go. There is lots of places that you can actually go. Uh, many of them in the Caribbean, but also some places further afield. And we have had people traveling. So we're very grateful for your business, those of you who have um, recently traveled or have booked a trip. 
what can you expect when you travel in the future? Well, obviously, we don't know everything. But what we do know is that vaccination is going to play a big role. So will testing. Sometimes before you get to a place or when before you can come home, uh, certain liverboards may require testing ahead of time. So we need to get used to that. And travel insurance has become even more important these days. And then, of course, masks, I think, are going to be here to stay at least maybe on planes for quite some time. We are looking at Fiji tonight. So here is a map of overall Fiji and its islands, which are, I think, 300 and somewhat islands. Simon can correct me there later if, if I'm wrong. Um, how do we get there and where do we need to go? Well, from LA to the International Airport of Nandi. And it's not Nadi, it's Nandi. So there's a silent N in a lot of Fijian words. And from there, you can either fly to different islands or drive to other places. And Simon will give you a little bit of a better idea of how we get to Vali Vali Beach Resort. Bula. Bula! So if anything, when you travel to an international destination, it is just so endearing to the locals and so important for us to embrace different cultures and to maybe learn at least a few words in the local language. And anybody who has been to Fiji has been bulad many times. It's basically, hello, welcome, and you cannot miss it. And Fiji, I've been there several times, is probably one of the friendliest um, travel destination that you can imagine. Um, I always say the locals have hospitality in their blood. It's not just a trained um, quality. It's just what they do. It's their personalities. So with that, I'm going to say Bula to Simon, who you see here on the screen with a waterfall that is just stuck there. And <laughs> Simon actually comes to us straight from Fiji, where it's already Friday, around noonish, I believe, right, Simon? Yes, correct. Yep. Yes. Just, after, just afternoon. Absolutely. So welcome. Simon is going to present to us Volley Volley Beach Resort in Fiji. Take it away, Simon, and thank you. Welcome, uh, Bula. Thank you very much. Welcome, everyone. Bula, welcome to Fiji. And I think, as Petra mentioned, Fiji is certainly one of the friendliest countries on the planet. Uh, magnificent people. One of the things we learned a little while ago was you know, you go home from a holiday and you can take some great pictures of a clean swimming pool or some nice coral, palm tree. But what people remember the most of Fiji, we think, is, is the Buller spirit, the people that you meet. And I've lived in Fiji for nearly 10 years now. Magnificent place. Uh, Petra mentioned how many islands. There are 333 islands, apparently. I haven't been to them all in Fiji. That's when we have low tide. On high tide, a few less, but it is a beautiful place. Be also interested to know who's been to Fiji and, and actually who's been to Volley Volley Beach Resort. We uh, pride ourselves as being as Fiji's number one dive resort and we dive the world famous Bly Water every single day of the year, which is magnificent. So here it's all about the soft coral. This is the main island of Fiji. This is Viti Levu. You'll see Nandi, where Petra mentioned earlier, you fly into, which is where the blue arrow is on the left of my screen. And we are right at the top, the most northern point where the red arrow is in an area called Raki Raki or the province of Ra. And above us and to the right a little bit is the Bly Water. So we are right on the water, literally 10 or 12 paces from our dive shop, and you'll be in the water, in the blue water, it's that simple. I'll talk to you about our resort and I will also then, the latter part of the presentation, talk to you about some of our dives and dive sites because I believe we're all divers. This is obviously a drone shot uh, of the top of the resort. You'll see there's a little white sand spit going out the front 
that's natural. It's there. It does change its shape. Sometimes it's wider. Sometimes it looks like a figure S. Um, that's there all year round. That is uh, virtually where our dive shop is. That's the point. We're on a headland. So every single room we have has got ocean views. And depending on which side of the resort you're on, you will either get sunset or sunrise. So the sand spit is sort of pointing west, so we get amazing sunsets over the water for the majority of the year. Um, I live on site, and we still take photos of the sunsets even today, and it's pretty magnificent. We've got um, two restaurants, and we've got three bars. One of the restaurants and bars is right by that sand spit, so it's a a magnificent, cool place to hang out every afternoon. We spend our evenings down there quite often, and that's where we enjoy the end of the day. You can see the reefs around the front of the resort. I'll talk about the diving a little later, but we do have three house reefs, which is pretty much what you're looking at there. Uh, it's macro. I'll go into a bit more detail with that throughout the presentation. However, you can dive them unlimited 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. When we enter the resort, you'll come to reception, which is the bottom left-hand picture. That's our resort. We will do our check-in. Our team there nowadays in the world of COVID, we've got uh, QR scanning codes for scanning, for entering and for departing. Uh, it's where we do the checking of vaccine accreditation, um, they do the uh, temperature checks. All that information is done there. Uh, just to the right a little bit, there's a window on the right of that bottom left-hand photo. There's a boutique there, great stuff, um, T-shirts, souvenirs, knickknacks, um, lots of cool Fijian stuff there, which is pretty magnificent. Top right photo is inside the reception area. We've got a luggage storeroom. We've got another bathroom, like for a day room there, all that sort of stuff there as well. We have 33 different rooms or villas in five different categories. So this is our luxury ocean front. Uh, these are two bedroom. Each bedroom can be made up with either a king bed or two singles, um, two en suites, two bathrooms. It's, each one has their own sw private swimming pool. Just to the left of the slide, you can't really see it from here, but the sea is just over the edge of the pool. Um, it drops down a little bit, a little bit of a sand, some coconut palms, and then the sea is there. You may have, of course, seen these swimming pools in the earlier drone shot. These are great great for two couples that are, that are friendly, uh, four people, mum and dad, a couple of kids, four singles, and we have four of these. These are our premium ocean view. We have 11 of these. Um, big king-size bed, very big bathroom. Behind where the photographer was uh, standing, you can see the ocean. We have its uh, private deck out there with some beds. And there's a little kitchenette to the left. The lounge you see in the foreground, that's um, quite large, quite wide. Uh, we actually do sell these to some people with... Um, Teenage kids or preteen kids, uh, they're very wide. They can be made up as an extra bed, but I really wouldn't, if it was my, my family, I probably wouldn't be putting them in here. I'd take the next level on there. But these are our premium ocean views. Again, great um, sunrise or sunsets, full ocean views. We have one family ocean view, two big bedrooms, one behind where the photographer is, one through that doorway in the middle of the photo. Um, each of those bedrooms can be set up with a queen bed or two singles. Each one has its own bathroom. Uh, there's a big kitchenette here, obviously, which is what you're looking at. And in the kitchenette, in the lounge area here, we have two full-size beds. So essentially this sleeps six people. Could be a couple of couples with a couple of kids. Could be six singles. And we have two balconies, one on the left, which you can see the ocean at the distance or out the front, and there's one to the right, which obviously that one is more inside and directly behind reception, which is one of the first shots I showed you. We have our deluxe ocean view. 
as you can see, straight through the windows, full ocean view. It's got a balcony, two queen-size beds. Um, in the foreground on the left, you can see the luggage rack. There's one on the other side where the flowers are as well. And just to the right a little bit is a big bathroom, two basins, a big shower. This is very, very popular for uh, a lot of our divers, dive couples. So a couple of buddies who are not necessarily a couple, fantastic. They're paying the same rate. They don't have to fight over who gets the big bed and who gets a small bed. And this is our entry level. This is our ocean view rooms. We have eight of these. has a queen bed and two singles. Big deck, ocean views. It's a bathroom behind us. I think personally this is great for a couple that are on maybe a little bit of a budget or mum and dad and a, one or two kids. I wouldn't put four adults in this room, but the rooms are fantastic. Something I, I like to talk to clients about is, and it doesn't sound very sexy beginning, but we have a construction company as well. So all the buildings you've seen, all the concrete walls, all the ceilings, the roofs, the doors, the door frames, the windows, the bedding, or the beds, should I say, furniture, are all made on site. They're all manufactured on site in our workshop. So, you know, we have carpenters, joiners, plumbers, electricians, painters on site all the time. So these pictures are not, oh, we've made these pictures up, especially this is what it's like all the time. So we've got a full maintenance crew on board the entire time. So in the morning, as an example, if a light's not working or a tap stripping, just let us know. And by the time you come back from diving, fingers crossed, hopefully those things will happen. They'll be fixed, should I say. I mentioned a little earlier, we have two restaurants and three bars. This is our main restaurant and bar. This is called the Nuku. Nuku means sand, N-U-K-U, means sand in Fijian. And the reason we call it the Nuku bar is to the left-hand side where um, of that little wall that runs through the middle, uh, which has got a polished timber floor. Up until about five years ago, that used to be a sand floor. So the Nuku bar, the sand bar. But now, obviously, it's a nice polished timber floor. So main restaurant, you'd have breakfast here every day. You'd have lunch here most days, and you'd probably have dinner here most nights as well. Um, to the right, through the windows where you can see the people are dining, uh, you can see the ocean. We've got our main swimming pool. We have five swimming pools on site. You'll see our main swimming pool there as well. And just sort of back to the right-hand corner a little bit is our small multimedia conference centre as well. So as you can see, pretty nice, very, very sweet. This is our second bar and restaurant. This is called the Ra Bar, Ra Ra. We are in the province of Ra. So this is our main bar. There's a wooden window on the left-hand side there. That's our dive shop right next to the bar. This has just been extended, so these are new photos. So hence why there's nobody there, because we're closed, obviously. Uh, but this is right by the sea, literally to the right-hand side. The water is only 10 or 12 steps away and you're in the sea. Our dive shop's right there on the left. So fantastic. This is where we've been hanging out a lot lately. And this is our third bar. This is the, the pool bar, swim up pool bar. Um, we've had a little change since this photo was taken. So those seats on the right-hand side, behind there now, they've got bifold doors. That's a multimedia conference centre as well. So as an example, if we had a group that had maybe a marine biologist with them or a photo workshop group, they can use the conference centre there for their workshop sessions. Plus, you know, we'll also use it for small conferences, 30, 40 people uh, for possibly the local market. But if you want to come from Canada for a conference, you're very, very welcome. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea of what the resort itself looks like. Um, Fiji's international borders have been closed for over 18 months now, but we're ready to go here at our resort. The resort, we get, um, we've got crew in every day. We've got garden teams in, housekeeping teams in. We have the maintenance guys in. We have crew, uh, dive crew in running the boats, cleaning the boats throughout the week. So we're ready to go. All we need to do is buy a bit of produce, make sure we can feed you and water you and, we're ready to, ready to roll. So 
Just need the borders to open now, which I'll talk to you about shortly. Diving. So we've got over 80 dive sites, eight zero, uh, in the magnificent Bly water. Fiji, and especially our part of the world, is known for the colourful soft coral. Lots of macro. Uh, very, very healthy reefs. As I said, we've got 80 sites in nine different regions. Some of the sites, the boat sites, are within 10 or 12 minutes, and the furthest distance we go would probably be 50 minutes to one hour. Lots and lots of dive sites. You would never see them all in one trip. And a lot of the sites you could dive many, many times and still not see it all. So lots and lots of choice. Uh, very nutrient-rich water. Lots of great coral. There certainly is um, some current. It's not what I would call strong current usually, but what happens with the soft coral, as many of you would know, the nutrients get pushed by by the change in the current. The soft coral comes out to feed. So beautiful, um, healthy reefs. If you ask people at the end of a trip, what was your favourite site, that'll vary from person to person. So for those photographers amongst you, bring your camera. Make sure you've got plenty of memory space on your cards. Uh, this is called Mellow Yellow. It's one of our very popular dive sites. It is a customer favourite, but I don't know what my favourite is. It changes every week depending on what's happening and what's around at the, at the time. Uh, almost all of our sites start in shallow water, so three, four metres, you know, 10, 12 feet, something like that. Uh, we have underwater moorings on, most, on almost all of our sites. We never, ever anchor. So all of our sites, underwater moorings, we'll get out to the site. One of the crew will jump in. We'll pick up our underwater moorings and secure the boat. And if we're doing a drift dive, we will just drift, the boat will drift along. And when we come up at the end of the site, end of the dive, the boat will just pick you up. So if we've got some clients that want to do 40 minutes and others want to do 50 or 60 or 65 or 70, that's okay. There's no rush or we'll cut together. We uh, have local guides. Uh, roughly, we would do, say, six people to one maximum. We can do singles one-on-one, -on -one, which there's a charge for that private guides and we will let you dive as pretty much as long as you like as long as you come up with uh, 35 bar at the end of the dive you're happy to do whatever our sites uh, whilst we have some very very deep drop-offs 2,000 3,000 meters the majority of the sites for us are in the shallower water so down to say 20 meters 25 meters is the best and above that, very, very colourful, very bright, lots and lots of marine life. You just will never be able to count the amount of fish we have. It's just incredible. And the diversity is, is very amazing as well. Macro on our house reefs. We have three house reefs, which I showed you right at the beginning with the drone shot. We allow or we offer, should I say, probably a better way of saying it, we offer unlimited shore diving on our three house reefs, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for anybody staying on a full dive package. You can just walk in off the beach. Uh, it is muck diving. The visibility is never great. Average vis would be probably six metres, so 20 feet. But the marine life is incredible. You can just walk in directly in front of the resort or we have one on the left-hand side, which is the west, and one on the right-hand side, which is the east. Again, walk in, keep the reef on your right and come back or keep the reef on your left and come back or do a boat drop or go out and turn around and come on back. Super easy. We'll give you great briefings. Um, lots and lots and lots of small stuff. Seahorses, lots of different nudibranchs. Uh, we recently found a very interesting nudibranch called Shaun the Sheep. Some of you may be aware of that. Um, we've got quite a lot of them out there in starting in knee-deep water. And Shaun the Sheep is about maybe an eighth the size of my little fingernail. That's not him there, by the way. But um, lots and lots of cool stuff. It's not for everybody, but essentially what happens is people will go out diving in the morning on the boats, come back, have some lunch, 
and may go out and do an afternoon dive or a twilight dive. Or if you're an early person, come up and do a dawn dive in the morning. Just let us know what you want to do and we'll make sure we've got people standing around looking ready to help you. Scorpion fish, leaf scorpion fish, frog fish, uh, pipe fish, octopus, cuttlefish, squid, lobster, little pipe fish here. This is uh, our dive shop. This is our compressor room, at least anyway. Uh, we pride ourselves on our operation here. We believe we've got the best setup in the southern hemisphere. Looks like this every day. So four big cultural compressors, big membrane system. I would strongly recommend if you're coming over to dive here, given the depth, the shallow depths of the water, the amount of diving that's available. If you're not already nitrox certified, I'd encourage you to do so. We can help you with that if you like. However, if you come over certified prior, even better. Got well over 200 dive cylinders. Uh, we use aluminium, both yoke or international and DIN valves, so we can work around whatever regulator you have. We do have a fair range of high gear, wave BCDs, spree wetsuits, three millimetre. We don't tend to rent a lot out. Most of our clients are um, experienced divers, so they bring their own equipment, which we strongly encourage. But if something goes wrong, we've got plenty of stuff to help you out with. All of our regs have computers on them. Question I get asked a lot is what's your water temperature like? Or more importantly, what size or thickness wetsuit should I wear? Well, in the middle of the calendar year, so July, August, June, that sort of period, our temperature gets down to maybe 25, 26 degrees, something like that, which is obviously about 77, 78 degrees and Fahrenheit. And in our warmer climate, which we're picking up towards now, we are getting uh, 30 degrees, 29, 30, 31 degrees in, say, February, January, February, something like that. So that's probably an easier way to answering rather than what thickness which you should use or should bring. Um, our rental gear is all three mil. Uh, I pretty much dive in a shark skin top and a pair of board shorts all year round. But we do get clients in five mil. Everyone has got their own personal choice. And if you're not sure, bring something a little bit bigger. But um, that's where we go. We've got big wash troughs for uh, keeping it rinsed. We'll handle all that for you every day. We'll handle. We'll do all that. Once you're here and we've unpacked and we've set up our dive gear, our crew will take care of everything until the very, very last day. So we'll wash it all for you. We'll hang it out to dry. We like to think it's valet diving. You don't need to do much yourself, which is great. We have a dedicated camera room, which takes um, 14 photographers. It's got international PowerPoints for charging your strobes, your batteries, your cameras. Every one of those stations has an air gun. And I mentioned it takes 14 people. It's secured, it's locked up, and it's right down at the beach next to the dive shop as well. So you don't have to lug your housings up and down to your rooms. Uh, whilst most of our divers are on open circuit, we can easily look after nitrox, sorry, um, rebreather divers, semi-closed rebreathers, fully closed rebreathers. We can pump Pure O2. Um, side mounts, no problems. That's easy. We can handle that as well. Night diving, whatever you're after. If you're going to dive something a little bit out, a little bit different, a rebreather is an example, just please let us know in advance. Uh, most of our rebreather dives will bring their own saw, but we do have that on site as well. We'll have to get it in for you. Just let us know what you want to do and we can handle all that as well. We have five dive boats. Uh, they're big. They're modern twin 300 horsepower Suzuki's on the back of them. We normally try and take no more than 18 divers on the bigger boats, even though they're surveyed for 24 and 26. Um, some of our smaller boats, we've got um, half cast, which takes uh, is surveyed for 16, but we take 12 divers on that. Uh, Phantom, we'd probably take six divers, and Sun Coaster, we'd take six divers as well. So depending on what size groups you have, um, we can sort that out as well. Diving, we would generally leave at half past eight in the morning, go out and do a dive, have some morning tea, morning snacks. 
which we take with us on the boat during our service interval, which is always an hour plus. Move sites, do a second dive, and then get back uh, early afternoon for lunch uh, on our two tank days. And on our three tank days, we'll do the same in the morning. We'll have lunch on the boat or we'll bump up to a small island if we, it depends where we are. Uh, we take a picnic lunch. You can order that the day before, and we'll take all that out for you. And um, then do our third dive, and then we're back mid-afternoon. Uh, in relation to food, lunches, things like that, all of our packages include full meal plan, which is um, tropical breakfast, cooked breakfast, two-course lunch, three-course dinner. Uh, we can cater for lots and lots of different options, if you've got any dietary requirements, just let us know a little bit in advance and we can, I believe, handle anything. There's no problem at all. Or a couple of nights a week Oh, before we get there. Um, lots of other activities as well. So we've got a fishing charter business. You can see uh, Sonny. He's our land-based tour operator. Um, this is at Nabalasiri Waterfall, which is a picture I've got behind me, actually. Um, this is Fiji's lar largest waterfall. It's fantastic. Great half-day trip, um, something you may want to do on your non-diving day. We have dolphin encounter tours. There's some hiking. The photo in the bottom right-hand corner is looking back over our headland. So that point you can see directly in front is our resort. The photo I took there was about um, maybe 400 metres above sea level um, looking back over it from the range. So lots of diving options. So lots of land-based options available. Once a week, we have a traditional Fiji night. So that's what we call a meke, M-E-K-E. -E. Uh, we get one of the local villages in. They come and they do some entertainment for us. Very good, fun night. We involve the guests as well that want to be involved. And we have a Lovo, L-O-V-O, which is, I guess, earth-cooked food, bottom left-hand corner there. Um, good fun. Everybody enjoys it. Lots of different options we can Lots of different meat choices, lots of different uh, vegetarian options. Uh, easy, good fun down at the beach. Good fun night. Vaccinations in Fiji. Fiji vaccination rate have been going very, very well. As of yesterday, I don't have an update for today, I'm sorry. It just hasn't come through yet. But our first vaccinations, uh, we've got 95.8% of the target population vaccinated. And we have 72, uh, first vaccination, should I say, sorry, and 72.5% of our target population fully vaccinated. This Monday coming up, so for us in three days' time, our, we have no domestic border restrictions, so we've opened up domestically for those people that are fully vaccinated. The word on the street, very strong word on the street, is that from December the 1st, we will open up to the world for fully vaccinated travellers, not requiring quarantine. As long as the vaccination is an approved vaccination, things like AstraZeneca, Medina, Pfizer, etc., it hasn't been officially announced yet, but that looks like that will be the case. And this is something we've lived with for a long, long time, so we, I'm very confident this will be the case. Uh, Petra mentioned earlier flights. So LA flights every day, and San Francisco, I believe, three times a week so we have a special or more importantly the team from fly and see dive adventures have a special for anybody that's on uh, the webinar today which pretty much is exclusive or is exclusive to fly and see dive adventures uh, you can make your booking by the 15th of october which is a couple of weeks away however you can travel right through until the end of march 2024 so very, very long travel date, which is fantastic. Pretty much seven-night package, five days of diving, 12 dives, all your meals, a beach barbecue night, traditional Mecca night, Lovo night, lots of cool stuff happening. Just 250 US deposit. There's upgrade options available. There's extension offers available. But talk to Petra or Irene or the girls, any of the team at Fly and Sea Dive Adventures, and they will take care of you with that and be able to answer any of the questions you have. It's a little hard talking when I can't hear anybody, but hopefully I've had this on here long enough for you to see what's available. We are ready to look after you. Our team here, 
at um, Fiji's premier dive resort. We are 100% vaccinated. We've got about 80 staff, 80, um, throughout all our departments. And we've been vaccinated since June of this year. We were one of the first uh, businesses in Fiji, tourism business in Fiji, to be fully vaccinated. So our team are good. We're all happy, healthy, and waiting for the borders to reopen. I think that's the end of me, Petra. That's fabulous. Thank you, Simon. Um, I hope that you all got a little bit of the spirit of Fiji and uh, can't wait to pack your bags. It, uh, it's, it, it's always a fantastic and fabulous destination to go to. And uh, I think we're going to get into our Q&A from here. Um, I know Simon mentioned a whole bunch of things already that sometimes people are asking. Mellow Yellow is one that actually sticks out, stands out. And, and I definitely remember that is a, a fabulous um, dive site. Fiji also lends itself, if you have more than a week, to a combo uh, vacation. So you spend a week at Volley Volley, and then there's a whole bunch of other options with different diving. And that's even though there's beautiful soft coral in all of Fiji, it has different character. And so that is definitely something that we can also help you with and, and work out. Fiji is on um, just on the other side of the international dateline. You may have noticed that with uh, Simon saying that our summer season is the warmer season. So when we go into winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, they are going into the, their summer and vice versa. Irene, are there any questions in the chat that you want to um, ask and point out to Simon? Does the resort have a camera room? Yes. Um, the resort certainly does. Um, I did touch on that. We've got a 14 person camera room. Each camera station has international um, charging ports and has its own air gun. It's well lit. It's got big fans in there. It's secure at night and it's right at the beach, right next to the dive shop. Literally 10 or 12 paces from the water. Uh, Gary and Robin are asking, what's the best time of year to visit? Yeah, it's always a tough question. Uh, I, I always struggle to answer this. Uh, our diving is great all year round. Um, November, December, January is uh, cyclone season or December, January, February cyclone season. So there is a likelihood of us getting some uh, adverse weather. If we don't get bad weather, the diving then is magnificent. The water is glass flat, like mirror flat. Uh, but the water is nice and warm then too, which also means that the visibility is a little less. Uh, middle of the year, so June, July, August, September, the water is a bit cooler, so 25, 26 degrees. Um, it's clearer water and you're sort of guaranteed that the weather will be, I probably shouldn't have said guaranteed, but more than likely the weather will be, um, you know, calmer um, for us in our um, hot time of the year so December January February is when we get our rain we actually call it the wet season and then in the middle of the calendar year is what we call the dry season our winter we get no rain our summer we get lots of rain which I know is a bit double Dutch but that's what happens in the tropics if I was going to come or I was going to recommend to some friends I'd say somewhere in November January it's great but you just do have the risk of potential cyclones and is asking what about larger pelagics Sure. Look, we certainly do get schooling uh, pelagics. Uh, we get sharks every trip, every dive almost. Uh, they're just reef sharks, black chip, white chip, and some grey reef sharks. Uh, it, Fiji, and this part of Fiji in particular, is not really about pelagics. It's more about the soft coral and smaller fish. Uh, a lot of our sites are bommies, pinnacles, coral heads, or walls. So we tend to focus on what's around there, but me, I'm a big fish person too, so I always spend a lot of time looking out into the deeper water. You would certainly see pelagics, but if that's all you want to see, or is that the main reason, it may not be your 100% cup of tea. Uh, Selda is asking, do you require a certain number of dives or recommend a certain number of dives? And how e easy is the diving? 
to answer the first question, no, no we don't, um, as long as you're an open water certified diver. Uh, generally, our diving, I would say, is fairly easy. Um, again, that's all in perspective, of course. Uh, we do get current. I mentioned that earlier because it's a question we get asked, is there current? Well, there is current. Um, don't get scared away by that. The current is what brings out the, the um, soft coral. And typically, we would go with the current rather than fight the current, so to speak. Uh, most of our sites are fine for open water divers. Um, I mentioned also that our sites start and finish in um, three, four, five metres of water. So it's great to jump in, get yourself comfortable and settled, and then drop down a little bit. And again, at the end of the dive, come on up so you're doing your safety stop. Still on the reef, you're not in blue water, and you've lots and lots of stuff to see. I think that hopefully answers the question. And Don is asking, how do we get from the airport to the resort and how far is it? How long does it take? Very good question. I should have asked that earlier. Um, one of my earlier map um, pictures I showed you on the slide was the uh, picture of uh, the main island, Dixie Levu. The blue arrow on the left where Nandi is to where we were at the top with the red arrow uh, takes about two and a quarter maybe two and a half hours. We call it a scenic coastal drive. Uh, depending on how you're coming, if you're coming as a couple or a single, um, we would have a small vehicle. If you're coming as a group, we would have a larger vehicle. So depending on the size of the travelling party, um, right up to 52-seater coach, all the way down to small cars, um, about two and a quarter hours, two and a half hours. It's very nice. It's a scenic drive. We do have an option, though, for seaplane, which can land right out the front of the resort, or a helicopter, we have a helipad at the top, or we can land right on that sand spit out the front, depending on the tide. And both of the air options obviously are more expensive, but they are only, I think, about 20 minutes. 90%, 95% of the clients will come up by road. We're in a rural area, which means that you're going to go through a lot of farming, you're going to see ladies on the side of the road selling pineapples, coconuts, crabs, fish, bananas. It's well worth uh, the drive. It's very nice. I can verify that. It's nice. <laughs> uh, Martin is asking how much extra is nitrox per tank? Sure. So we do a, um, a couple of options. The majority of people will take it as um, – a package which is unlimited you can have as much as you like depending on your dive and in us dollars i think it's 149 us dollars unlimited and we predictably given we've got a membrane system we'd pump it out at 32 percent 80 percent 80 percent of our clients would dive nitrox it is by far way 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 more popular than air all of our crew on nitrox every dive kim is asking and I'll answer this. <laughs> How long do we have to send our deposit for the Fly and See special? The special is being offered for all of you from this evening until book and deposit by October 15th for travel through until March 31st of 2024. Uh, Julia is asking, do you offer... That's a bargain. That's a bargain, Irene. Julia is asking, do you how do you offer small tanks for petite divers? Yes, we do. Um, Julie, we have some 65 cubic feet cubic foot tanks for the petite divers. And the, to answer the question in the opposite direction, we also have some 15 litre big tanks for those not so petite divers. We would like, we don't have a lot of either of those. We have five of each. So if you are particularly after a small um, cylinder or a very large cylinder, please let us know in advance so we can try and have them set aside for you. Our next question is from Kim, which I'm not sure if you're going to have the answer to this as yet since Fiji is not open, but, um, and I'm going to explain on this a little bit she's asking will you facilitate the COVID test for the return to the U.S. Um, but also for Canadians we would need a PCR test 
The answer is yes, it will be easily available uh, before the borders open. I'm just unable to give you the full details at this stage because I don't think our uh, government has set that framework exactly yet. Yeah. Uh, again, different countries require different uh, requirements. I know the Canadian requirement is more stringent than the US one, okay. and I believe the Canadian requirement is the same as I said, my home country in Australia, and also for New Zealand, which is um, very close to us here as well. Thank you. Uh, John is asking with regards to fishing trips, what types of fish are available to fish? So we've got a fishing charter business as well. Um, when we do get clients coming over and they would generally go popping and the target that they would be after would be the giant trevally. There was a picture, I think, top left-hand corner of the um, one of the activities. So that's the target fish which most of the clients would come for. We occasionally get sailfish, but it's certainly it's that's an exception rather than the rule. Um, we also do trawling. So if somebody was coming over, as an example, for a dive trip and wanted to do half a day or a day's fishing charter on their off-gassing day, their last day or any day for that matter, or they were a non-diving partner, uh, we could do trawling. And with trawling, wahoo, uh, mahi-mahi, which is I think, you, I think you guys might call it dolphin fish. Uh, we get a lot of barracuda. The oh, GT, by the way, the giant trevally is a catch and release fish as well. But if you do catch a nice table fish, very, very welcome to, we can take it to the kitchen and our one of our chefs will come out and talk to you about how you want it cooked or what you want to do with it and they can pretty much make magic happen. And Don is asking, um, what's the price on the fishing excursions? Okay, uh, I'll give you this in Fiji dollars. So a full charter, so a full uh Full day charter is, I think it's 1,900 Fiji dollars, which would be about 900 US dollars. And we do a four hour charter, which is just a little bit less than a bit more than half price. Uh, the team from Fly and Sea have those prices in front of, or not in front of them right this minute, but they have them available. So that's a question we could come back to you, John, if that's okay with. And we can give, it, we can give that to you in US dollars as well. And uh, Kim is asking, uh, are night dives available at extra cost? Yes and yes, night dives are available. Um, if you want to do a night dive on the house reef off the beach with your buddy, there's no charge for that. If you want to do a night dive uh, on the boat or one of the boats, there is an extra charge for that. Uh, we do, it would be... Um, 125 US dollars and we would need a minimum of four divers and it's something that we generally do not pre-sell because we'd work around the weather and what people want to do when they get here so if it was a dive group dive shop dive club and there was a whole group of them easy peasy if it's one or two people we'd work around the rest of the dives and resort and try to um, get some other people interested in going out diving at night but yes, we do do night diving, usually one, as a general rule, one or two, not two nights a week. Our last question, is this trip recommended for non-divers? Well, we do, uh, we are a dive resort. We do promote ourselves as a dive resort. I believe there's a lot to do for non-divers as well. So as an example, uh, Nabalasiri Waterfall, which is what you see behind me, that's about a, a maybe a six hour tour. So you go to a local village, uh, enjoy some um, touring around a village, talking to some of the locals there, do a bit of a hike to the waterfall, swimming in the waterfall. We have uh, local market tours. We have a fishing encounter tours. We have lots of snorkeling options. We have local islands very close by. We can do some um, island discovery tours. If the person that's a non-diver is an energetic person, they can uh, do some of the peak walks. There was one photo before uh, looking back over the resort. So lots of activities like that. Uh, we have a day spa for massages and facials and all that, hair braiding. I don't do the hair braiding. Um, all that sort of stuff. And, of course, we have the swimming pools. You can lounge around the swimming pools. Uh, we have beach with um, hammocks strung between palm trees. We have some floating pontoons with, um, like, we call them air in, a chair in the air, which is sort of like a CD hammock. And... 
we have three buzz. Thank That's you. Cool. That's it for our questions. Great. Good questions, guys. Thank you so great. much for putting great that questions. in. And yeah, Simon, um, absolutely great. Thanks to Volley Volley Beach Resort. And some of you guys may have read up on that already. Just because you have shown up today, you're automatically entered into this package of five nights and um, five nights stay in a deluxe ocean view room and four days of two tank boat diving for one person. So that is a great um, building foundation to great, uh, come and explore Fiji. Obviously, you can add a person, you can add more nights, um, all of that. And we can, we will uh, tell more details as we proceed. This is a uh, prize that we will not draw for tonight. The draw is actually going to be on December 9th. So today we're giving you three entries. Every other presentation until December 9th, if you join us, you will get another entry. So the more often you show up, the higher your chances are of actually winning this prize. So thank you so much, Volley Volley and Simon, um, for this prize. We, you will hear us talk about that more and more. Um, just to repeat again, our special as well. So if you win the five nights, you can build on that. Good for travel until the end of March 2024. We will also waive, uh, actually, yeah, we will discount our professional fee by 50%. Um, so that's another offer that we're adding to this. And the deposit of $250 uh, due within two weeks. So it's new bookings only. Please email us and we can send you the the flyer with everything that's included in there or you just keep re-watching this presentation where vinaka is another fijian word that we're learning tonight which means thank you so i thank all of you guys for showing up and thank you simon for the wonderful presentation and uh, getting us all excited to travel to the warm tropical waters of fiji in two weeks we're inviting you to travel with us to palau the island in Micronesia, and we will explore it with uh, Master Liverboards on the Palau Siren. Um, as you may know, the registration always opens a week before. Here's our contact information. You can also check the full webinar schedule on our website to see what other presentations are still coming up. And uh, subscribe to our newsletter so that you will be kept in the loop of everything. And so with that, we are saying good night. Binaka, and hopefully we will see you and hear from you soon to book your um, next exciting Fiji dive package. Thank you again, Simon and the team at Volley Volley. We can't wait for the borders to open and come and see you. Thank you. Um, all of us, um, most of us in our team have been to Fiji more than once, and we can just highly recommend it. It's a different culture, but it's not a culture shock. It's actually a beautiful enhancement of your experience. So, Bula, Vinaka, everyone, have a good night, and we will see you in two weeks. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you very much. 